But you see, it's like a good example. If Rabbit is a good example, nowadays you hit macro to one and dimensional fissure to one. Right off the bat, that is a crushing blow to macro Rabbit. Right there and then. But I feel like Rabbit, Rescue Rabbit was such a great card for this game because it took something useless like normal monsters and gave them a place in the game. Now with all, now with Heavy gone and everyone setting all their back row, Heavy and Rabbit going to one, Rabbit going to one with Heavy Storm being banned, now if you summon Rabbit, it's going to get hit with so many trap cards. And the chances of you actually pulling off Rabbit nowadays is nearly impossible, unless you go first turn and not get hit with a Valor. So I feel like Rabbit serves no more point in use in this game, because if you hit it, it pretty much points out and says, yeah, all that other normal monsters you were playing are completely dead now in your deck. And the only deck that could possibly find a way to work this is Evil Swarms, because they could actually still abuse Heliotrope. But it's like all the other Rabbit players out there were unnecessarily hurt. And I, that's one thing, that's what hurt me, because that was the one deck that I had that was very original and a deck that I overly loved, and it got hit unnecessary, and now I have to find a way to make it work in a much slower way when the deck itself was pretty slow to begin with. That's why I forced Rabbit in there. Now, besides that, a lot of people were coming to the realization where they thought that I was hitting on this list because of how much I loved the OCG list and how much I, they thought that people thought that I just wanted a profit from Trishula. Um, from what people don't know is I've been collecting uh, Trishula's and Goyu's ever since they've been hit. And I and I, it's like a part of me, it's like I'm not disappointed that Trishula didn't come back, but I've been collecting Trishulas and Goyus ever since they were hit because I always said, you know what, I want the day to come where they could come back and I'll just stock up on them. I'm kind of glad Trishula didn't come back in all honesty because I want to stock up on more because all you have to do is look at the past couple of lists where it's like oh, the scare of Goyu coming back in the last time and you know, before this list and then the one like, this one, people fear Trishula coming back, and everyone bought them. And I feel like I just want to stock up on them, and I want more time. And seeing these two lists that came out, like, it gives me more reason to keep collecting Trishula. Alright, next. Uh, I don't like how people are saying that the old list that we were in before, in the TCG, is was worse than the list we have now. Because the list we have now, people are treating this list like it's God. But the one thing I'm just trying to point out is if you hit every deck, let's just say a good example, all the tier one decks that, that we had in the last format, let's just say on a scale from one to a hundred of how good they were, I would say 90%. Tier two decks, 75%. Tier three, 60%. Now when this ban list came around, it like knocked off 20% on each deck. And people want to say, oh, the deck, the, the game is slower. When you really sit down and think about it and you calculate that, tier one will still outclass tier two and tier three. We are not on equal terms with the meta. Unless you're playing tier one prophecies, Atlanteans, Marmels, Fire Fist, or Evil Swarms, may, you know, you won't care about this list because you'll still top regardless. I'm mainly making this video for the few people that have had their shit, like Gravekeeper, Six Ams, Constellers, Heroes. I feel bad for those people that lost their shit. Then people say, it takes more skill, it, like, like nowadays it takes more skill than how it used to. Um, that is not true either, because it takes the same amount of skill nowadays to top as it did, as it did beforehand. The situation still stands where it's just like, all you really need to do is invest in a deck that hasn't been hit yet, like Bujins, if you want to count Tanky as being hit. Alright, alright. No, it's fine.